took the whole silk screen process and they condensed it down to this machine right here. Okay. This right here is a shirt platen designed specifically for adult t-shirts. I've put like 2T and 3T on here and they fit pretty well. But it like any children's sizes, not so much. If you're going to do just like a fabric or something, this works great as well. So oh, okay. it's, you just need a flat area. So we're going to put this down for now. So the first thing we need to do is we need to decide what design we're going to do. So I love scrapbooking. Perfect, right? Yep, perfect. Go to my computer and print it out. And it has to be printed out on a transparency and you have to have a black or a white image. You can't have any like grays or anything like that. It needs to be dark and white. Okay. What it's going to do is it's going to block the light from hitting this sheet right here. This is photosensitive. Everything that will be exposed on this to the light will turn this blue color. And everything that is being blocked by our design will remain this green color. When it's green, this will wash out in the sink. So we have this image right here, and that was washed out, so that creates our stencil. So our ink can go through it, so we can okay. print our design. Okay. So to get this onto our screen, we just get our screen wet. We just spray with a spray bottle. And this has a sticky side and a shiny side. This is the shiny side and this is the sticky side. Put the sticky, sticky side down on the screen. Get all the air bubbles out. And then we just let it dry. And it's going to take about, oh, five to 20 minutes, maybe a little longer if it's really humid. If you're in a hurry, you can use a blow dryer. It'll be, take a lot shorter, five to 10 minutes, just blow drying it. And then once it's dry, you'll just peel away the plastic part. You'll throw that away or you can save it for some scrapbooking. Something. Yeah, you never know. You never know. <laughs> you could draw a design on it and use it for later for another t-shirt if you wanted to. So then you'll take this screen and your image and you'll put your screen with your emulsion on top of it just like this and you're going to take your t-shirt platen it has a wonderful back side that's felt and it'll make a perfect seal for the lights under here it'll trap all the light in you put a really heavy weight on here five to twenty five to ten pounds and it'll make sure it's sealed so you'll get a really crisp image. If it, if the image comes off the glass at all, light will trap underneath and you'll get a fuzzy line. So you want to make sure this is pressed down pretty good. So then you'll leave this on here. You'll press the expose button and that'll turn on these lights right here. And everywhere the light goes through, it'll hit this green film and it'll turn it blue and everywhere that's black, it'll leave it that green, and then we can just wash that out, and you'll have a screen just like this. Oh, okay. See how the green washed out? Uh-huh. And the ink will now be able to pass right through there. So we'll throw this in here. We put our t-shirt on here earlier. <laughs> we'll throw our t-shirt on here. Can you see that sleeve? Can you grab that out? Thank you. We make sure it lays flat. That's important. We have our squeegee and our ink. We'll throw a generous bead of ink across here. And there's two steps to printing. The first one is to flood the image. So you'll make sure that the image is off of your t-shirt or whatever you're printing on. And you'll pull it across.
That'll make sure that there's an even amount of ink throughout the whole design. We'll lay this down. Apply even pressure across the bit. And we'll lift it up. And we'll look at it. And it did pretty good. What we're going to do, we can add just a little bit more ink. We'll flood it again. Into one more time. And you can see our image. Ink has dried in it from a different design, so we're kind of getting that blotch, but there you go. It's pretty simple. If you have any questions after this, you would let it air dry to the touch. You take it over to your ironing board and just put a piece of paper or cloth on top of it. Just iron it for three or four minutes on high, and it's ready to go through the washing machine.